Hey guys, it's Angel, or shall I say Mother of Dragons, because it's about to be Game of Thrones up in here. For this mini, I'm going to be using a new product from Twinkle Tea called Scales, and it's a loose flake glitter that shifts color depending on what polish you layer it over. I think this could be used for mermaid scales too, but I just did mermaid nails, so I'm going to pretend that I'm a dragon. And for once, thank the nail gods for an easy to use nail art product. I think these scales would be perfect for beginners and also for more advanced nail artists because there's just so many things you could do with these scales, but I'm gonna keep it simple in this tutorial. All right, let's get started. For my base coat, I used Oont Peel Off Base Coat. I wanted the scales to really pop, so I chose a black base color. This is Bundle Monster Straight Up Black. It's my favorite one coat black polish. You don't necessarily need to use a one coat black polish for this tutorial, but it's just my favorite black, so that's what I used. And here is the container of the scales, and Twinkle Tea sent me this kind of top secret before it was released. So I don't even have a label for mine, so if you do order this, yours might come in a different package. And as you can see, the flakes are super iridescent, so I was really excited to see what color they flashed when I put them on top of the black polish. You guys like my super disgusting fan brush? I actually stained it with fake blood doing a zombie nail tutorial. I think it was Halloween 2015. Are you guys ready for the super hard part? Just kidding, this is ridiculously easy. So I apply another layer of the black polish and you don't let it dry, so as soon as you put that polish on, you grab your fan brush, pick up some of those flakes and you tap them onto the nail. And make sure to be careful to not let the brush or whatever you're using to tap on those flakes to touch the nail. Cause I mean, the polish is wet, so duh. I kept going back to the pot and picking up more flakes because I wanted to go for a full coverage look. Now, you don't have to put as many flakes on as I am here. You can go for a more subtle look, but I mean, nothing about me is subtle, so. And then I noticed after maybe like, I don't know, 30, 60 seconds of applying the flakes that the polish was starting to dry. So then I was kind of rubbing the fan brush over the surface of the nail and it was kind of depositing the little flaky crumbs and covering them in those blank spots. And the best thing about this is there's really no way to mess up. It's going to look good. It's going to look pretty. That was super fast, so let's take a second look at the application onto my middle finger. And just because I'm using a fan brush doesn't mean that you have to. You could probably use really any brush, whether it be, you know, a fluffier nail art brush. I don't really know if there's fluffy nail art brushes or I guess a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Maybe even a sponge eyeshadow applicator, but just be careful not to touch the polish when it's wet. Or I guess you could even sprinkle them on directly from the pot, but then I would think that they would kind of be sticking up. So I would just make sure to rub it flat with your finger then once you get them on and the polish is a little dry so they're not just kind of, you know, sticking up all jagged like. And look, it's so easy. I'll even show you me applying it to my other hand. Now, obviously it looks really awkward without holding that brush, but hey, I did it. Normally I don't do nail art on my other hand because it's just time consuming when I'm filming, but this time I have two matching hands. Well, sort of. I added matte top coat to this hand just because I wanted to see how it looked. Once I had flakes on all of my nails, I applied my top coat. Here I'm using Super Chic Lacquer Liquid Macro Top Coat, and I didn't record it. I wish I would have, but once my nails had dried before the top coat, I took a mini orange stick and kind of ran it around the perimeter of the nail to break off the jagged pieces of the flakes that were sticking off. This lets you get a good seal on all of the nails, and I actually did two layers of top coat because I found that this does eat top coat, so in order to be smooth, you're gonna need at least two layers. And I know you're like me, so you're curious how this would look over other polishes. And here it is layered over Super Chic Lacquer 40 Wings, a gorgeous purple hollow, and I think this looks pretty badass. And I was so pumped to see the scales over white, but then I was let down. Although I think I may have applied the scales too thick and a thinner coat would look better. So I'm gonna have to experiment more with lighter polishes. 
And here is just a light sprinkling of the scales over black polish with a matte top coat and this made me so happy. For full coverage application, I prefer a glossy top coat and then for just a sprinkling of the glitter, I prefer it with a matte top coat. And here's how the matte top coat looked on my other hand. I mean, I didn't do as good as a job, but it still counts. And that completes the tutorial for my magic dragon mermaid scale nails. Oh my god, am I a mer dragon? And don't be shocked when you see me on Game of Thrones as the mer dragon. I'm gonna be a fire breathing badass mermaid just flying around cutting bitches with my rainbow oil slick chrome knife that I showed you guys in my last video. Well, this has clearly gotten out of hand, so <laughs> don't forget you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at twy underscore star. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Uh, bye bye